Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. So today I am doing a get ready with me, like a chit chatty kind of a get ready with me. This is my first time doing that. Initially, this video was going to be just skincare and makeup, but then I decided that oh, I have to do this Q and A also. So let's do this today. So here I'll be doing my skincare and makeup, and I will answer your questions as well. So yes, uh, let's get started and watch till the end because I will be telling you about the giveaway also. So yeah. Okay guys, let's start with the skincare first. So this is my updated morning skincare routine. I've been doing this routine these days because of that pimple mark right there. So starting off with the face wash, I'm going in with the Biocules Everglow Radiance Face Wash. Now I've talked about this particular product n number of times because I genuinely love this one. This is such a nice and subtle face wash for your morning skincare routine because it doesn't strip your face of any moisture. My skin feels hydrated and glowy. It has AHA and vitamin C, so it will work on that pimple mark right there. Uh, because of hyperpigmentation, it has become really, really dark. But because this product has AHA, so it will exfoliate my skin and vitamin C will help lighten the pimple mark. Then I'll just rinse my face off and pat dry it with a facial tissue. I will not be using any towel. Next I'm going in with this rose water by Sadev. Now this one is a recent purchase. I've used it 4-5 times because I wanted to get a toner for my morning skincare. And rose water is a natural toner and this one although it is a bit expensive but if you compare it with big brands like Forest Essentials or Kama Ayurveda this one is really great because it comes in a glass bottle also um, this one has pure rose extract so your face will feel so nice and glowy then I'm going in with this Biocule spotless serum now this one again has vitamin c in it and vitamin c is supremely good if you use it in your morning skincare it has arbutin and phytol which will work on my pimple spot right there it is such a stubborn mark it's not going only but uh, i've been trying my best to get rid of it so yeah this one has been helping me a lot uh it has like it like everything is derived from sugarcane and bearberry so it is really working on my skin then I'm going in with my sunscreen for that I'm using Episoft's uh, moisturizer it has SPF 30 I'm not going anywhere otherwise I top it off with SPF 50 but this one is so lightweight uh, you'll see it for yourself how quickly it blends it feels like you're not wearing anything on your face and doesn't leave any white cast or anything like that I love wearing it all the time it has never like never given me any pimples or anything like that so i absolutely love this one then after blending that i'm just going in with this lip oil right here and this one is from dm beauty i don't use it for the tint but this one also has squalene in it and a lot of other good ingredients so feels very very nice very nourishing my lips feel very nice after using this one so this one has been a regular for me these days and yeah after that i'm just gonna change because i'll be shooting my q a after this and this is the t-shirt that i'm wearing got it from some website i don't remember now but yeah, let's get started now. Okay guys, so my skin is all prepped so we can get started. Uh, honestly, I thought I would do this Q&A much later, like after a couple of months. But I already feel awkward talking about my life and I got enough questions and these questions will cover everything. So I thought let's just do this and get done with it. Guys, so there are a lot of questions which are similar, just the language is different. So I'm only going to answer everything once and I won't be repeating anything. So that's that and I'm only gonna answer the important questions because I know when you're watching a creator there are a lot of questions in mind. Like you're curious about their life, who they are for real. So I will be answering those questions and nothing unnecessary i don't want to make this video long okay guys so there is one question almost like it was the most asked question 
that was about my education qualification and what do i do for living apart from youtube so uh, education wise i am done with my bachelor's i majored in philosophy and i did my bachelor's from indra prastha college for women delhi university i am currently pursuing llb and i am in my second year of llb as for living because i am studying so i don't have a full time job or anything like that uh it's not like i've never done a job but right now i don't feel the need to um i had a job i was into content marketing but i did not like the job so i dropped it then i have done a few internships in fact last year i was interning at the delhi commission for women and that's how i got into law because i just loved everything there uh, you know the legal work the case law the judgments everything i fell love, i fell in love with it so that is why i decided to pursue law law is very interesting i love studying law as for living guys because currently i don't have any bills to pay i live with my parents and i have no plans to move out i like living here with my parents so i don't have any responsibilities it's not like i have to provide or contribute uh in the family both my parents have their own individual successful careers so i'm privileged like that i i was never forced to have a job um my parents really want us to have exposure they really want us to achieve something in life for our own selves but yeah there was never this pressure to have a job or something like that so right now uh, i'm not doing a job i don't know about the future but i'm sure i'll figure things out next question is uh, what keeps you motivated how do you start your youtube journey did you face ups and downs in this youtube journey how are you feeling that you're going to hit 10k soon now that i've hit 10k i feel great and i feel grateful um how did i start my youtube journey so youtube is something that i did not do impulsively it was not an impulsive decision it was something that i always wanted to do i always wanted to be on youtube i've grown up watching youtube and youtube was something that was always on my mind if you talk to my like if you know me personally you would know how crazy i was about youtube in fact i remember um back in school also i wanted to start my own youtube channel but when i was in college i did this announcement post that i'm gonna start my own youtube channel so don't forget to subscribe and all of that but a week after that my camera i used to have a dslr back then so it stopped working and um i was like now now it can't happen because i had that kind of a mindset that i'll only look good when there is a professional camera even then i had an iphone 6s but uh i still felt that i needed a camera and that is how i kept procrastinating things but last year i felt that you know it's high time now this is something that you really wanted to do so start your youtube journey now so that's how it got started um did you face ups and downs in this youtube journey of course man like youtube will test your patience to the max because uh the growth on youtube can be really slow for me it's not like like i did not have any expectations to begin with because it's not like i was coming from a place of fame or popularity i was not popular on instagram i only had 2000 followers so i was i did not have this mindset of, oh i'm going to go on youtube and i'm going to rock it um but still uh i expected something else and something else happened because it took me almost 10 months to reach my first 500 subscribers like i posted my first video in april last year and this year around february or march i hit 500 subscribers so uh, there was a point when i couldn't cross 300 subscribers and i was like stuck at 279 or 280 subscribers and that was the lowest point because i was like i'm posting the video my content quality is good like i'm working on it uh what is happening i started doubting myself 
and I wasn't posting consistently so there were times when I wanted to give up but that is how life is uh, but my friends and family they supported me and they were like no you should just post because no matter what like even if you're not getting any views even if you're not getting any subscribers still you should post and you should do it for yourself and you should not expect anything in return and then only you'll like grow and that's what happened exactly i'm sitting here now i've like hit 10,000 subscribers and yeah life is great okay guys sorry i applied the blush because i thought it was recording and i was answering the question but it wasn't actually recording so i'll repeat the question it was your favorite travel destinations you plan to visit sikkim are you into kpop k or bts so my favorite travel destinations outside of india number one has to be japan because i watch a lot of anime and j dramas so definitely japan i love japan as a country i love their food and their culture i've grown up watching pokemon i used to pretend to be ash so definitely japan then uh, second is south korea because i am into k dramas i've watched over 150 k dramas you can see how excited i am so definitely uh, definitely uh, south korea then london is one of the cities i really want to visit so that is that then are you into k-pop k drama of course i listen to a lot of k music i have a playlist so yes uh K dramas I've already told you BTS uh, I love them like I love their music I listen to their music sometimes I appreciate all the hard work they do and that is why they are successful but I'm not an army army like my sister is a die hard hardcore army but I'm not because I don't find myself following them or knowing about them or you know thinking about what they're up to and all of that so yeah uh do you love ramyeon I love calling it ramyeon because if you watch K dramas you know uh and other east asian cuisine definitely yeah i love korean noodles like i you will find me having korean noodles almost every week and that is the only junk food i prefer but uh, my mom gets angry all the time because of it other east asian cuisine uh not really not really where do you live delhi what is your favorite food anything indian what color do you like the most pink and white do you know any famous youtubers I don't know about famous but um, I mean apne mu se bolte hain chai lagta hai but my brother is quite famous he is on Instagram and on YouTube as well quite famous nahi itna famous bhi nahi but uh, yeah my brother is Jayan Joshi you can uh, check his profile so yeah he is a little famous other famous YouTubers I'm sure I know a lot of them but personally none uh anandita and yashita are from my school in fact we used to uh, travel in the same bus it was route number 16 but yashita was my junior and anandita was my senior so yeah i don't know that don't know them personally anandita i've shared a few conversations in the past but that was on instagram so that is all uh she seems like a nice and humble person yashita i don't know personally i really like her content though so yes next question is are you maharashtrian what motivated you to create content uh shows movie or watching currently current obsessions skincare books uh i think you got confused because of my surname because Joshis are Maharashtrians too, but I am not. I am from Uttarakhand. I belong to this community called Kumauni community. I am a Kumauni girl. I am a Pahadi, and uh, I belong to Pahad. So yes, but I am glad because I like Marathi people. I love Maharashtrians. So yeah. Shows I'm currently watching. I'm watching No Gain No Love on Amazon Prime, and I'm watching Love Next Door on Netflix current obsession skincare books brand books i don't read that much my sister is an avid reader though but i'm not uh so currently i'm not reading any books so can't give you a name skincare what like a step a product or what if i have to choose a skincare step it will be sunscreen i love applying sunscreen if i have to choose one skincare product it will always be sunscreen brand there is no brand that i'm particularly obsessed with but i think mask cosmetics i love their products bro like they are just killing it people also ask about my hobbies so my 
hobbies are very basic i'm fairly good at sketching so definitely sketching doodling basically art i love cooking and i love walking also so that is that i love talking to my sister that is another hobby of mine and just filming doing makeup these are my hobbies i love your aura thank you so much okay okay thank you <laughs> um what's your course like study share and how much money study i already told um how much money are you making a month approximately so if you are a small creator you do not make that much money on youtube especially from youtube youtube doesn't pay you much but you definitely earn from brands and as a small creator i'm earning enough to sustain myself uh so yeah it's not much but enough to survive uh can you give an advice for people thinking of starting their youtube channels in the same field so i got this question a lot uh apparently a lot of you want to start content creation and that's great like do what you want to listen to your heart i would say don't skip like don't give up don't skip your whole way ahead but i'm so lame dude like i'm sorry okay don't give up because i've had friends who you know started youtube and reached a certain level like 2000 3000 subscribers and then like stopped making any content because they thought they were not getting enough attention or whatever so don't do that because growth on youtube can be extremely slow but if you are consistent with your content and if your quality is great you will definitely grow one day and try to find your niche if you are like very new try to find your niche you have to experiment a lot initially okay to find your niche you will have to experiment so do that but once you've found your niche stick to that because the algorithm works like that okay youtube will only push content which works for you and for youtube you know पैसे का चक्कर सो या स्टिक टू योर नीच वट कैमरा डू यूज टू फिल्म योर वीडियोज एंड हाउ डू एडिट योर वीडियोज आई यूज द कैन एन जी सेवन एक्स मार्क टू इट यूज टू बी वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर कैमरा फॉर ब्लॉगिंग बैक इन द डे आई एम श्योर लॉट ऑफ पीपल स्टिल यूज इट सो आई यूज दैट एंड एडिटिंग एप्स आई यूज इन शॉर्ट एंड विलो द मोस्ट बेसिक वन आउट देर Uh, you don't need to have professional editing apps especially when you are a small creator because those apps are so expensive and trust me you don't need them will i be creating content on instagram i'm not very sure like i mean there's nothing wrong with it but i just feel that i'll get trolled <laughs> i don't want to get trolled to be very honest uh The next question is how do you manage everything and how do you brainstorm ideas? Uh Let me apply this first. So how do I manage everything? Honestly, I don't and I'm not able to. This is something that you will feel with every creator. You'll feel that oh she has like manage everything so well she's doing youtube also she's studying also she's doing that also no um if you'll see me i'm always in a mess like not talking about like the place or whatever i'm not good at that also i'm not i'm pathetic at organizing stuff and all of that but in my head i'm always in a mess like i'm constantly procrastinating stuff and my attention span is also like zero so i'll get an idea I'll forget about it the next moment. So I have to write everything down. I have to do that. So for ideas and everything, uh, that really happens. But when it comes to managing stuff, um, I'm not alone to be honest. My sister is always there for me, so she is always helping me with stuff. So that is how I'm able to manage things. But uh, I love doing YouTube. So when you love something, I think. somehow it all happens and you just like get the shit done 
okay guys so this is how the makeup has turned out i think it has turned out pretty great uh so yeah this is it for this video i really enjoyed it i hope i was able to answer all of your questions i'll try to do more of these but for now this is it and regarding the giveaway guys um i'll be picking four winners like i'll be doing four giveaways so i'll post everything on my community tab make sure to check my community tab and be active there also uh i'm sure you guys will love the products because everything is carefully picked by me like all of the products are some of my personal favorites these are the products that i actually love i love using them or i've used them in the past i have not picked anything random for you guys so don't worry about that everything is new untouched and especially bought for you so yes um make sure to participate in the giveaway and i'm really really thankful to all of you who subscribe to my channel and you have shown me so much love and support and please keep supporting and keep loving my channel and yes i'll see you guys next time bye bye